Hey, what's going on DC Addicts? This is Seaspring here yet again to give you your DC Universe Classics fix. Today we're going to take a look at Copperhead. Very awesome looking figure. I want to thank Questlife for this figure. He hooked me up with this figure and he helped me to finally get everything that I needed to assemble Darkseid. So stay tuned for that review. I have all the figures. I already reviewed Iron and I reviewed a couple other ones. So, so check all those reviews out and pretty cool. You can see all the figures on the back here. Not a bad wave. There's a few, you know, they all have their own thing. I probably decide is probably the worst figure uh, in my opinion, but Iron and Copperhead are probably like the best ones, I think. So anyways, talk more, more about that later. So here we have Copperhead. Awesome. Very cool looking figure. Nicely detailed. But we'll, He also comes with the collector pin button thing, as you can see. And he is figure 3, part of wave 12, and he, helps, and he comes with the face and the crotchal region for dark side. So not much more to say, uh, he looks pretty awesome, I can't wait to open him up. So with that being said, let's take him out of the package and go over him in further detail. Alright, let's do this. Alright, here's Copperhead. Wow, this is a pretty cool figure, man. I really like this guy, he's high up there in a lot of the DCUC figures that I like. Highly detailed, great quality, and he is just he just looks great, the colors look great, his costume looks pretty cool, and that face sculpt it looks great. That snake head on there and just the face in general. But we will take a closer look at that in a few seconds here. What the figure here real quick. You know he looks great. Just do a little 360 out of this dude here. Colors look pretty slick. He has a shiny gloss coming off of him. Kinda look like reptile skin. Snake skin. Alright, so let's take a closer look here. Like I said, the head sculpt is great. The colors have a nice transition in colors from dark to light, going from the back to the front of his head. So much detail in the head sculpt, and like the snake part looks pretty cool. It has the, the snake eye and the teeth, and he has like the side of the mouth. It kind of looks like it's stretching there and whatnot, but when you take a closer look, when you kind of tilt this guy's head up a little bit, and you take a look at the human face in there, uh, it's amazing. Like The color kind of is a little bit toned down a little bit to make him look kind of sick. Uh, his eyes are highly detailed. There's so much detail in there. It's kind of hard to see offhand. But when you take a closer look, um, like it looks great. There's so much detail and colors, and really nicely done. And then also in the mouth, and the mouth looks pretty scary with the sharp teeth. And so much detail in there. It looks great in my opinion. Uh, the head can rotate side to side. Probably a 360, but this, it's hindered by this neck piece that is part of this costume, which is rubber. can look like the, the soft part of the bottom of the snake and goes around his whole head. This piece, like the head part, it comes in, looks like it comes off in two pieces. It separates right here. And this neck piece looks like it's put on and then the head is put on. So it looks really great though. Nice scales all throughout the costume. Looks really cool. Uh, he can rotate 360 at the waist. He can move up and down at the torso, but I'm not going to do it, but he can do it, but I'm just not going to break that point, but it can do it if I wanted to. See the ab crunch there and then back here. Okay, so what else? Arms can rotate 360. This thing is a very traditional DCUC articulation. Move up and down at the shoulder, 360 at the bicep, up and down at the elbow, and 360 at the wrist. What else? Legs can go forward and back, side to side. You can go pretty far when you kind of push it past it, its point, it can do it, but then um, the figure kind of loosens up a little bit after that, so I'm not going to do it. There's so much color and detail, I can kind of see off the muscle definition of the legs here. Um, it's really nicely done. I like this figure a lot, actually. Uh, where legs can move 360 at the lower thigh, can move in and out at the knee, and in and out at the ankle joint. And what else can I say? You know, the fist and the feet, they're all traditional DCUC um, figures on a lot of the figures. What makes this character different, or this figure, I should say, is the coloring and the costume look and the scales and the head, of course. And this is a really great figure, and I'm really glad I got this one because it looks pretty, pretty badass and definitely stands out in your bad guy collection. So... That's pretty much it. You know, this guy comes with the head and the crotchal region of Dark Side. So stay tuned for Dark Side review. I'm gonna re so that's it for this review. This is Copperhead, part of the DCUC line, part of the Dark Side series. Please give this video a thumbs up if you wish. Leave a comment. 
leave a video response if it's anything related to this video share this video with your friends and on facebook and subscribe okay guys thanks for watching this review stay tuned for more dcuc reviews and i'll catch you guys later all right see ya